Hey guys, happy Sunday. Thanks for joining us today. Hope you had a wonderful Mother's Day, loving on your mom unconditionally, and I know she enjoyed all those snuggles and hugs. Um, today we're going to start a new series, and it's about Genesis. And we're going to go through the whole book of Genesis. And Genesis is at the beginning of the Bible. It's actually the very first book, and that's where we're going to start. And it says, Genesis 1-1, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now, think back as far as you can think. What's the first thing you remember? You know? Can you remember that far back? I really don't remember the first thing that I can remember, but I remember going to church, vacation Bible school, even my grandparents' house. But I don't know what the first thing was. But now, before you were born, there was your mom and dad. They probably remember further back than you. And before them were their parents, and their parents, and their parents, and so on, and so on, and so on, all the way back to what? The beginning, where it all started. At first, a long, 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 long time ago, before people, before animals, before the earth, before the stars, and before everything else, there was God. God is eternal, and that means he never starts and he never ends. At first, in the beginning, there was nothing except God. That seems hard to imagine, doesn't it? But it's not really, is it? After all, God has always been there and he will always be there. And he made everything else that there is. Well, how did God make everything? In the Bible, God's word tells us that God spoke and things came into being. God said, let there be light and there was light. So now we're going to talk about how the creation week started and what all God created for you and for me. First, God created light and invited the light from the darkness. So I have my little handy dandy picture that's going to help us today. Light from darkness. Next, God divided the waters above from the waters below and made the heavens and the earth. All right, so he made clouds and oceans. Then God separated the water from the dry land. So then he made land. We already have the ocean and now we have land and ocean. All right? Then God made the sun, the moon, and the stars. There's the sun, the moon, and the stars. Then God made the birds of the air and the fish of the sea. Birds in the air, and the fish in the sea. And then God made all the animals that walk on the earth. That's a lot of animals. And here's just some. Look at all those animals. So these are six things, six days. That's so that's a lot of work. But at last, God made man in his own image. He had take, it had taken God six days to create everything. And on the seventh day, guess what he did? God rested on the seventh day. God looked at all that he had made and called it all good. All things God made are good. And on the seventh day, after he had created everything, God rested for his labors. All these things God created for you and for me. And we should take care of all the things that he created for us. So here is our creation and what God created for me and for you. I hope you'll have a great day. 
rest of your Sunday, a wonderful week, and we'll see you back here next Sunday. Bye.